Hello, it's Stephen here from Highland Astronomy and Modular Universe and this is my uh, long-term review of the Celestron Nexstar 8SE. It's been my main telescope now for about four years. I use it extensively, personally, um, in my back garden and I use it in outreach. I run two astronomy programs in the Highlands so this unit gets extensive use I also use it for live streaming on Facebook. So this is the 8 inch model and I find this um, a good enough size to offer me really good views of deep sky objects, uh, nebulae, galaxies and some fine views of planets. I did actually have the unit size down, the 6SE but very quickly I upgraded because for me the size difference wasn't significant enough. Um, space was one of the reasons I bought this telescope, but actually the 8SE can pack down to quite a small size. In fact, if you just unscrew the top mount here, you can get that in a small suitcase and I've done that many times before. It's also really good to tabletop mount. So this uh, glass table over here, quite often if I want to use it quickly I'll just shove it on the table and for very quick observing sessions that's more than adequate. But the tripod it comes with is pretty sturdy. I would say that it works much better on grass. Um, if you have it on concrete you sometimes um, can get a wee bit of shaking. Um, there are some optional um, pads you can buy if that's uh, the situation that you have where you're having to set up on concrete um, and that certainly helps. But generally speaking um, a really versatile scope. Um, now let me just come around and show you a few modifications I've made. So one thing I did more recently and it was the best thing I ever did Normally this unit requires a big battery pack that you plug in and you'll leave on the ground. I got um, a lithium ion battery, taped it to the unit and I plug that directly into the power and that's transformational. This means that I can take the telescope up out and immediately start observing. I don't need to lug a power pack with me. This unit here charges up. Um, in a couple of hours and it lasts ages. I mean I can do a couple of weeks of observing and um, there's plenty of juice in there to operate the telescope. In fact it's currently running from that pack at the moment. So that's, I really recommend that modification to this telescope. The other thing I did which was also transformational was I implemented a Bluetooth module which is homemade. got a Bluetooth receiver which is in here, looking very professional. And that allows me to connect the unit by Bluetooth to my mobile phone using the Sky Safari app, which is, a, I believe that's a, started off as a Mac OS um, piece of software. But anyway, I think it's available on all platforms now. And that's brilliant because that frees me from punching in targets using the hand controller which can be awkward. Um, you might forget the name of a messier object, uh, for example. And it's just so much more um, liberating to be able to look at a smartphone screen, scroll to an object, you know, click on it, and the telescope will slew to it. So I'd really recommend that. Um, the other option is to buy Celestron's own Wi-Fi module. Uh, and that will work just as well, but it's a little bit more expensive. So, um, some other things that I have purchased is I have a Celestron Focal Reducer. One thing I will say about this telescope is it's kind of geared for planetary observing. Um, it has a large F number. So if you're wanting to look at uh, star clusters like the Pleiades, for example, the fields are a little bit narrow. So I would recommend buying the Celestron, um, the F6.7, 6.3 focal reducer. And you screw it on the back and you'll get much wider fields. And you can then just remove it if you want some powerful planetary observing. 
So that's another recommendation I would make. Um, downsides to this telescope. The main one for me is the fact that I cannot manually slew it. So I can rotate it um, in terms of its altitude, but I cannot uh, move it um, or pan it left and right without invoking the drive. Now, that's actually a bit of a pain. If you want to just quickly get the telescope and look at a specific star and you know what you're doing, uh, you know, you know how to find that object, it can slow you down a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that would be the only disadvantage. You can still, obviously, manually salute an object. It's just a little bit more um, for nickety. Um, but if you're just starting out and you really want help finding different objects, then this is a great telescope because once you've aligned it, then it really is just um, click and go. You can go to a number of objects and that also helps you uh, learn the night sky. So when I first got my 10-inch um, reflector many years ago, it was a great telescope, but it was just so difficult finding objects. So I wouldn't necessarily say this is there for an advanced telescope. I would actually say this is possibly aimed at beginners and then people who are potentially doing outreach like myself. Um, if you've got a few people that want to look in the eyepiece, then it's really useful to have that tracking and the ability to slew to any object. And just bear in mind that it's going to take you maybe five minutes to set up. Uh, you need about at least two stars uh, to line it uh, up. And away you go for the rest of the session. So there we go. Uh, that's uh, my rough overview of the Nexstar 8 SE. It's an excellent telescope. Again, I've not had any issues with it at all. Um, hasn't skipped a beat. It's got a lovely focuser on it. Um, you can do basic astrophotography with it. Uh, you can. I always attach my smartphone to it with this holder here. Um, but you can even put a DSLR in there. And as long as you're not doing anything too serious, um, you can actually get some pretty good images through it. So there we go. I hope you found that review useful. Um, I recommend this telescope. And I would even say the 6SE is a good um, unit also. Um, if you can afford it, go for the 8-inch. But if not, I had a lot of good use out of the 6-inch version, which I upgraded from. Anyway, thank you for listening.